If you keep people suppressed like a pressure cooker with no outlet, it will grow and one day explode. Unquote. Well, none other than Miss Marina Mahathia. Ain't she wise? So what I'm going to say next is dedicated to Marina. She knows more than what our big bosses understand. Here are five good reasons why it's okay to gripe about Singapore. Number one. Unlike other countries, we are 100% good. And though we dare not outrightly say we are perfect, the non-existence of put-downs in the public media and the constant self-praising we do simply imply that, yes, we are absolutely fair and perfect. And on that score alone, there should be no loopholes and floors. All flaws encountered are, therefore, accountable by our flawed perfectness. A mouthful? How do you think I feel when I read the newspapers every day? Number two. No one's perfect and nothing's perfect. Well, that is only true when it happens to them. They'll conveniently remind you that they too are humans after all, so it's okay when they make a mistake. But when you make a mistake, now that's a different story. In other words, by sheer implication that you should not make mistakes, they are implying that we are either gods or robots. So which do you think we are? Number three, here in Singapore, you are completely at the mercy of the system. If the system wants to get you, <laughs> it can and it will. It's just a matter of whether it wants to or not. It is that invincible. So how do you defend yourself against such invincibility, especially when you're not a multimillionaire magnet? You cannot. You can only resort to what I do petty, bitchy, and sarcastic griping. And it's all done, mind you, not in the name of iniquity, but for the sake of catharsis. Or do you want to bottle it all up inside you and be a road bully? Number four. Here they always say, so you think in America don't have meh? Uh, you think Thailand very good meh? Uh, you think uh, they're very polite in Hong Kong meh? Again, they are missing the point. The point is, those other places are not very good, and we know that, and they know that. But we, we are very good. And if we are very good, then how come bad things can be happening? As one of my limbic friends would say, Tida! Number five. Now, this is very serious. The other day in the Straits Times, May 26, 1999, I read an official statement about how OB markers, out of bound markers la, how OB markers are defined. And in short, the explanation is, believe this, OB markers cannot be defined because it is not possible to define everything by law. That's exactly what it said. And it goes on to say, If you try to define it precisely, then others will play around that definition and say that they are not doing anything wrong. Ayo, talk about kyasu to the max. <sighs> now you see what I mean. What they're saying is, we have the law, but we don't need the law per se. Or, the law is simply not enough for us to govern you. You will always lose if you play against us. So you, Singaporean, are you going to be so stupid to play against them when law alone cannot protect you? Of course you cannot. So, gripe. What else is there to do? Better gripe before they shut you up and then you cannot even gripe. So now you see why I'm all good, no bad. I'm Singaporean, ma. Singapore always say, we are the best that we can be. You think other countries got say that, man? You think other countries can say they are the best that they can be, man? Of course they know they are not, la. But we, we are the best that we can be. So I also say, ma, I'm the best that I can be. Or maybe even, I'm the best that you can never be. Too bad. I'm all good, no bad, ma. 牙尖水利